is going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the latest episode of the Legislative Director talking about legislative things. Here she is. This reference will make sense in a couple of minutes. She's not over 65, but she's still a Golden Hoosier Legislative <laughs> Director, Amber Marr. With her, as always, not the Legislative Director, Jason Thompson. Amber, how are you? Great. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thank you for asking. Um, so today we're taking a little bit of a break from the review of what happened in session to talk about a couple of ways that uh, you can recognize the volunteers in your life and in your community. And uh, one of those things is the Golden Hoosier, which Amber will talk about here shortly. Uh, we'll talk about a, a volunteer award that AARP does that uh, I will talk about. And then we will then also talk about some scheduling of some happenings with the Indiana General Assembly here at the end of the month. So that's a little rundown of what you're going to see and hear about today. How's that sound? I'm really excited about this. I think it's really important that we highlight uh, opportunities to recognize uh, volunteers. It's sort of my favorite thing. Yeah, volunteers, uh, especially within AARP, are critical to the work that we do. Uh, so it's nice to, yep, exactly, Dan. Volunteers are what make our team so effective. Can't do the <laughs> can't do the gig without them. So, Amber, let's get into it. Tell us about the Golden Hoosier Award. Yeah, so AARP has been uh, collaborating with the Lieutenant Governor's Office now for a couple of years, but not for as long as this award has been around. So uh, the Lieutenant Governor's Office, along with the Family and Social Services Administration, specifically the Division of Aging and AARP Indiana, have collaborated on sort of announcing that now the 2022 nominations for the Golden Hoosier Award are open. And I'm sure if you have not heard about this award before, you're probably wondering what is this and how, you know, what does it take for someone to get an award um, titled the Golden Hoosier? Well, I will give a little bit of a rundown as to the eligibility requirements, just in case you have someone in your life that maybe comes to mind when we talk about this. So uh, you have to be an Indiana resident for at least five years. You have to be 65 years or older. Um, the person that you nominate uh, should have been a volunteer in their communities for the past three years or more. And then also the, the individual could not have previously received the Golden Hoosier Award. So they uh, really do try to spread the, the awards out uh, for people that maybe haven't gotten it previously and to find those amazing individuals out in their communities uh, doing so much for others. So we just wanted to make sure that you, first of all, knew that this award existed. And second of all, that you knew where to go in order to nominate someone if you are interested. I think, Jason, you might be yeah, getting gonna, ready to share your screen. Yeah, we're going to try to do this real quick. Uh, oh, so, yes. Yeah, you can go to, um, so for those of you that are listening, you go to in.gov slash LG, which is the... Um, lieutenant governor's website uh yeah. for those of you that are watching this you can kind of see what that looks like on my on the screen right there uh what you're going to do is once you're on the lieutenant governor's website you're going to go to the kind of upper left there's a menu button you're going to click on that and then you're going to see lieutenant governor initiatives you click on that and then there it is the golden hoosier award you go there and then there's going to be some background and then where you can click to begin the yeah. nomination process and there's like a form for you to fill out and all that fun stuff. So yeah. that's how you do it. And there's also, I think they got a post up on their Facebook page. Um, so you can, you can do that as well. Uh, in that regard, I will now stop sharing my screen. Um, uh, there you go. It's the facebook.com slash LG Suzanne Crouch. Cause that is, she is the Lieutenant governor of the state of Indiana. Absolutely. And I did just want to mention that. So you have from now until June 10th to nominate someone. So the nominations close on June 10th. And this is just a recognition for older Hoosiers for their commitment to their community um, and just dedicated volunteers across the state. So please, if you know anyone that this sounds like, 
please go and nominate them. Um, I know that there are several individuals that usually receive this award. It's not just one. Um, I want to say sometimes it, it can even be up to 15. Um, I think it just depends on the nominations and how many uh, individuals that the lieutenant governor office, the lieutenant governor's office receives. So, okay. you know, stay tuned, but we're happy to kind of keep you updated on this process as we move through it. And even maybe we can do another legislative director talking about legislative things once they have awarded those individuals and recognize them here, or at least, you know, show you where you can go to find who won them again, which is probably the same website, Jason, but I didn't see that listed on. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly if that's up there. I know you can like watch the previous ceremony and there's a link okay. to that for in, from 2021. So. Uh, they might be doing a similar thing for this year. Awesome. Cool. Well, we can, uh, and yeah, they have not released the date of the actual award ceremony, uh, but we are, like I said, we're working in collaboration with the Lieutenant Governor's Office. And when we get some of these dates in the future, we will share them. Awesome. All right. Well, and then on the AARP side of things, we like to recognize volunteers as well. And so we have the Andrews Award, uh, which is, named after AARP's founder, um, Dr. Ethel Percy Andrews. Uh, and so this is the way um, the way that we recognize the 50, somebody who's, you know, 50 and older that is making an impact on their, in their community. Uh, so there's, there's a whole host of criteria there as well um, that I don't necessarily need to go through, but basically it just, you know, it's, you can nominate somebody who's 50 and older uh, it's evaluated by AARP's volunteer executive committee uh, that we have. And so it's going to be kind of volunteers recognizing volunteers, if you will. Um, and, and, and just it's volunteers that are reflecting AARP's vision and mission and inspires other volunteers. Uh, so we, we encourage you to do that. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, well, first of all, I think we can put on the what you can go to AARP.org slash IN and you'll see a, a blog post about it. You can also go directly to uh, AARP's website, which is aarp.org slash Andrews, which is A-N-D-R-U-S. Um, and that'll get you there. I'll share my screen one more time so you guys can see what it looks like on our end of things. So this is our blog post right there. If you go to aarp.org um, slash I-N, you'll see... It'll be right there. Click on it there. And then that'll scroll down. You can find the information with the criteria and things of like that. And you can't be a previous winner as well, just like the previous award that we talked about. Uh, Amber, you and I are not eligible as AARP staff. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe next time. Uh, but you can, you can go there. Uh, and then you can click on here and this will take you to kind of the, the main page and where you can fill out the forms. So who's eligible, who can submit, all that fun stuff uh, is there. But this is AARP's way to recognize volunteers that are out there doing great things in the community. Not all heroes wear heroes capes. Wear that capes. is correct. That is very well, correct, Dan. And Jason, I just wanted to make sure that we specified Again, the Golden Hoosier Award is 65 years and older, but the Andrus Award is 50 or older. So Correct. I just wanted to make sure that we we made that uh, clear. Yep. So much like, um, you know, AARP's just membership in general, we uh looking for the 50 plus. So that's, yep. so you got two opportunities to recognize uh, a volunteer that you've maybe uh, come across with in your efforts. Uh, like I said, we have the Andrus Award. Uh, through AARP, and then we have the Golden Hoosier Award through the Lieutenant Governor's Office. Jason, is there a deadline to nominate someone for the Andrus? That is a fantastic question, and yes, there is. It is July 15th is when applications have to be in. So if you're going in chronological order when stuff <laughs> is due, Golden Hoosier is due in June. Is it June 15th? Is that 10th. 10th. Okay, so June, uh, and then you have the Andrus Award in on July, by July 15th. So uh, two two opportunities there to recognize somebody. And this is something that every state office does uh, for AARP. So you have, um, there'll be Andrews Award winners across the country. Absolutely. Elite That's company so to be in. 
Yes. Yes, absolutely. All right. So um, that's handing out potential hardware for people in awards. Uh, what do we have that's coming up with the Indiana General Assembly that we want to bring to people's attention? So I just wanted to close out uh, this conversation with some updates as to what might be happening at the State House in a couple of weeks. Um, and it will be here before we know it. So I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that on um, Tuesday, May 24th, not only is it Technical Corrections Day, but it's also the day that the Legislative Council is meeting. And I'm looking right now because they, the agenda has not been up yet, and it still isn't. Okay. Uh, just the meeting notice has been posted, but not the agenda. But normally here at this time, the Legislative Council will talk about and go through all of the topics that have been selected for interim study committees. And uh, they go over just a few other things as well. So we'll find out what is going to be studied over the over the summer. And then also, as you heard me say, it's technical corrections day. So the legislature, including, you know, the House and the Senate, not just leg legislative council, usually it's just legislative council meeting, but it's on the same day this year. So everyone will be back at the state house and they are potentially going to be taking up and voting on whether they will uphold or override the governor's vetoes. Uh, he vetoed two bills this year, and they will be talking about that at the legislature on the same day. Okay. Busy yeah. summer day, or almost summer day at the Indiana General <laughs> yeah. Assembly at the end of May. Yep, absolutely. So you can tune in to the Legislative Council. I guess you can tune in to all of it virtually uh, by going to the General Assembly website. And I know we didn't talk about this beforehand, but uh, Jason, we've never actually <laughs> shown people where to go for that. Could you share your screen really fast? I cannot. Uh, oh, you, you no, can't? I can. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I was like, wait. Okay. Um, all right. So yes, for, for those of you that, you know, have nothing better to do on a Tuesday in May uh, <laughs> and you're interested in what's happening at the Indiana General Assembly, uh, you can go to iga.in.gov. That is the main website. Uh, and then you'll be able to see, you'll, you'll bring it up. And if you go to the right, kind of right here is where you'll see like all the, the calendar type items uh, of what's going on. And it'll usually pop up there uh, where you can watch it in a committee meeting. But then you can also just click on one of these, you know, watch live buttons and that, that'll be like the Senate or, uh, and actually everything's here. And then you also have the house video. Uh, so this will be the opportunity for where you can look at what's happening in the Senate chamber. Here's all the different committee rooms, for the Senate, and then for the house. So you can watch it in real time. Uh, what's happening at the Indiana general assembly. If that's something that you're, you're into. Jason, just real quick, just to see, will you click on the calendar and go to May 24th and see if it will bring up? I don't know if it's on the calendar. I mean, it should be. Looks like That's there cool. is legislative council. Yes. Goes so right if there. you, yeah, if you go to the calendar and then you can click, yep, that button right there that you can watch the video and it will run live. And then also once the House and Senate um, determine when they're going to be meeting that day, those will also show up on May 24th and we'll have the same icon next to it. So you'll be able to click and watch live that way too, if, if that's easier, but it should show up uh, once they determine the time that they're meeting. So. Yep. Good times. Yeah. Awesome. All Thank right, you. I, I was just like, I was like, I didn't think we have ever showed anyone no, how just, to get there. We're just deciding to have some fun with this platform <laughs> here, share screens, show people what's going on. Uh, so those of you that are listening, hop over to the YouTube page or the Facebook page and just watch this so you can see what you missed. Um, and yeah. we will plan to do an update on Legislative Council as far as if any of our study committee topics get assigned. Um, I think we did that last year, too, yeah. uh, just to let you know, you know what's coming up, what's coming down the pike, and what we might be um, focusing on over the summer. So Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, uh, good chatting with you today. Yeah, thanks. This was great. I'm glad yeah. that we could bring uh, some additional information 
other than just talking about state house stuff. I mean, yeah, we did, we did kind of, but highlighting volunteers are always. Uh, it's volunteer award season. Yes. It's even better than the Oscars. <laughs> so it is. It's, it is the season to recognize people that are doing good work. Uh, so we encourage you guys to do that. Um, all right. Well, we will be back at it talking about some other topics and things of that nature coming up soon. Uh, and then what happened at ledge council and with the technical corrections and whatever else the general assembly decides to get into, uh, in May. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then, yeah. Thanks Amber. As always. Thank you. Thank you so much. And everybody get out there and nominate there some of those amazing Hoosiers for these awards. So absolutely. We'll be, we'll be watching for it. All right. So until next time on the legislative director talking about legislative things, we will see you then.